Israel is not the only country in West Asia that is now pushing for desalination facilities. Egypt too has rolled out a $2.5 billion plan to build 17 desalination plants that will be powered by solar energy. The government has been offering concessions to attract private investors. It aims to set up the plants by the next five years or so. The larger goal is to increase Egypt's desalination capacity by four times. The government has vowed to buy the water and resell it to domestic and industrial consumers at a discount. Firms have also been allowed to hire their own construction contractors. If you live in a compound, you're talking about 18 to uh, 18 or, or 13 to 18 pounds per cubic meter, while the, 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 the government tariffs are, are, a, are a tenth of that. No, there, there is a massive subsidy that's being uh, uh, built. So, because the water Nile is very cheap, but you want to diversify your reliance on sources of water. Almost the same for the past like 60 or 70 years, there's been very minimal change to how it functions. So we all have power meters at home that function pretty much the same way. The energy delivery has been the same way, power transmission and distribution has been the same. So we are in that area to disrupt it by involving new methodologies and new business models into it. Egypt is facing an unprecedented water crisis. Neighboring Ethiopia is building a dam on the Nile River, which is Egypt's main source of water. There are concerns that the dam may restrict the water supply to Egypt. 